Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeffrey. I'm the CTO for ITQ, a European-based VMware partner. And on this personal channel, I create content and video tutorials around technology in the VMware ecosystem. Now let's move on to create the USB boot device. There are multiple ways to approach this, but let's start with downloading the ISO. If you're a VMware customer or partner, you log on to Customer Connect. If you're a VExpert like me, the VExpert portal is also a good location to download the ISO. If you're running a Windows workstation, something like Rufus would probably be easiest. But I'm running macOS, so I will fire up my terminal to create the USB disk without using any third-party tools. Okay, so we're in the terminal, and first we need to determine the correct drive number uh, of my USB drive. So this util list will show me that disk number four is actually my USB drive. So make sure to double check this on your system. It might be a different number. So we need to format the disk drive using disk util erase disk and make sure to use the FAT32 uh, disk format by using the ms-dos statement. Now we need to unmount the disk so we can work with it. So now we need to enter uh, fdisk, but you need privileges to do that. sudo fdisk-e with the uh, correct drive number. Make sure to put in your macOS password. Now we need to make the partition active using f space 1. Quit fdisk. Now I find it most easy to just launch a finder window and mount the ISO of the uh, file we just downloaded at the uh, Customer Connect side. So once we mounted the ISO file, we need to copy over the entire content of the ISO file in, onto our USB drive. So that will take a minute. So once everything's copied, we can go back to our terminal and we need to make one final change to the contents of the USB drive. So Go to your volumes uh, slash ESXi and use a text editor like a VI or text edit. But we need to edit the ISO Linux.cfg file. Once you have it open in VI, for example, it's colon I for insert and you, we need to append dash P space one. You can save the file using colon WQ for write and quit with an explanation mark. And we need to rename the file from ISO Linux.cfg to syslinux.cfg. That's it. You can now make sure to um, go to a different directory so the, file, the drive is unlocked and you can unmount it using the finder window. We created our bootable USB drive, which we can now use to completely reinstall the Super Micro server that I have running. So I hope this was informative to you. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button. Thanks for watching.